Hey, thanks for joining me. My name is Daniel Jackson. I'm a photographer and one of my specialties is architectural photography. And when I'm doing architectural photography, one of my favorite things to do is a dusk shot. And that's what you're looking at here. One of the things I'm trying to do with a dust shot is make everything look as good as I possibly can. So I want to balance a sky, uh, preferably a sunset with the windows and the interior, uh, the exterior of the house, and the lighting on the exterior of the house, and maybe even a little bit of the landscaping. So the way I go about that is I use multiple exposures. So this is the first image from that night. Uh, I set up my camera and started shooting for the sky, really. So I'll shoot a little darker just in order to capture all the detail in the sky and, I, and not have the whites in the clouds blow out. So I was so happy with the way the clouds looked that I started shooting without even um, cleaning up the site. And you can see there's a ladder there. But I'm not terribly worried about it because I know these shots will not be used for the the building itself. That comes a little later. So maybe about every five minutes I'm shooting, the sky changes a little bit. And every time I shoot, I'll bracket a little bit. Bracketing, if you don't know what that means, is to shoot, um, to bracket your exposure. So I'll shoot one exposure a little light and one exposure a little dark. And um, that way I get, later on when I go and look at my files, I won't be upset that they're too blown out or I'm lacking detail. So I'm just waiting for the perfect sky. Here I got a moment and I've moved the ladder and this is probably my exposure for the exterior of the house. I'm just still watching the sky and getting as many shots. When it changes in a positive way, I'll keep shooting. And here I, I feel like this is the sky. The color starts to kind of drain out of the sky. And so I've stopped shooting the sky and I'm starting to light the house. You can see that uh, I've used a flash and I'm lighting up the left hand side of the house and I'm walking around and trying to make it so I have as little shadows and that the light is as smooth as I can make it which is kind of impossible in some ways but and some of these uh, but like I'll try to shoot the tree give it a little texture and then I'll go behind it and I'll shoot the wall and I want to use as few of these as possible because it really is a pain later to put them together. So if I have a handful that work really well, I'd rather do it that way. Now this I'm shooting with a flash here, but I'm also, since I'm stuck there, waiting for the exposure in the interior to come up, uh, I have to make really a, a long exposure in order to see the light in the windows uh, and anywhere near as bright as the rest of the house. So I have some time to kill. So I use a flashlight as well. And this is a, a daylight balanced flashlight that uses a really high color rating index. And it's very powerful. So it can crank out a lot of light. And I wiggle it around to get my exposure. I'll kind of move it around. I want something relatively smooth. And I find the flashlight's actually very forgiving. I like to work with the flashlight a lot better than the flash. This is uh, it looks really blue because I've 
color balance for the the light that was underneath that canopy. There's the tree being lit up, the landscaping. You can see my flashlight here. And that won't be a problem because I'll use a mask and I'll just cut out the part that I want to use. So I'm lighting all the landscaping. And that's just about it. And when I go back in Photoshop and I put together the parts, I come up with, let's see, this. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, my name is Daniel Jackson. And if you want to see more of my work, you can see it at www.danieljacksonphoto.com.